Hey guys, and guess what? It's on. I'm Dakota from the Black Cat Shadow, and this is your very first episode of a video, Black Cat's Tracks. I am going to be talking to you today about X-Men. X-Men? No, not X-Men. New Mutants. I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, that's not horror, that's not horror. Yes, it is. Listen to me and... You'll understand why. New Mutants is a darker version of the X-Men. More of a younger version. Uh, mutants that can't quite control their powers. Obviously, it's a little scary. So, obviously, it's going to make for a good horror movie. In my opinion, at least. So, I'm going to go ahead and cover why I think the New Mutants is going to be a horror movie. And why, in the trailer alone, they try to sell it as one. So why else wouldn't you want to listen? I mean, I mean, other than the fact that you love our show. <laughs> so, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and talk about New Mutants in general and why they are so important to the Marvel Universe. The New Mutants are actually a group of teenagers. Obviously, most of the X-Men started out as teenagers working their way up through the ranks and gaining power and becoming really super powerful. Well... The Mutants actually started back in 82, I do believe it said. Yes, uh, it actually came out in Marvel's graphic novel number 4, December of 1982. Uh, it was created by Chris, uh, Chris Claremont and Bob McLeod. So, we have an awesome group of mutants here. The whole thing goes way back where we have three of the most powerful mutants known. Uh, they're all Omega level mutants. Cable, Magneto, and Professor Xavier. Then we have Birdbrain, Blink, Boom Boom, Cannonball, Rusty Collins, Cypher, Domino, Feral, Gossamer, Karma, Magic, Magma, Daniela Moonstar, who is actually, I believe, is Wolfsbane. No, not Wolfsbane. Haha, <laughs> never mind. That is. Mirage. I think we've already mentioned Mirage. No, we didn't mention Mirage, actually. Uh, Richter, uh, Shatterstar, Skids, Sunspot, Warlock, Warpath, and Wolfsbane. Every single one of them have gone on to do different things, either died or have become actual X-Men. Uh, Domino is actually part of X-Force uh, in the modern-day comics. Um, see, Sunspot is also an X-Men. I think he actually dies eventually. Uh, Blink is an X-Men. Um, you actually may recognize the name Blink. She is actually in the show The Gifted on Fox. Um, see, uh, obviously Wolfsbane. Uh, Wolfsbane is a interesting character in New Mutants. But uh, I'm going to run through the history of New Mutants. The very first stars or cast of the New Mutants, I guess, would be the roster, I'd say. Uh, Cannonball, who is Samuel Guthrie. Uh, a mild-mannered 16-year-old Kentuckian, an eventual co-leader who became nigh-invaluable when rocketing through the air like... Uh, Karma, I don't want to say the name, it's in Vietnamese, uh, is a 19-year-old Vietnamese girl and the team's original leader uh, who could mentally possess other people's bodies, which I think is going to show up in the, in the movie, which is going to be cool. <laughs> uh, Mirage, uh, Daniel, uh, Daniela Moonstar, originally codenamed Psyche, a Cheyenne, an eventual co-leader after Karma's death, who could create visual, empathic, three-dimensional illusions, which is fucking cool. <laughs> uh, then Sunspot, Roberto da Costa, a 14-year-old Brazilian who gained superhuman strength fueled by sunlight and could store solar energy in his body and use his super strength during the night. I think Sunspot makes an appearance in the trailer. Um, don't quote me on that. I've only seen the trailer like a couple times. Uh, Wolfsbane, uh, Ron Sinclair. A 13-year-old religious Scott who could transform into a wolf-like creature. Um, by Scott, it means Scottish person. And I think Wolfsbane is actually going to be uh, played by Macy Williams in the movie, which is cool. Now uh, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, I'm going to go and take a look at the the cast here. Um, Anya Taylor-Joy, uh, who's playing Magic. Magic makes an appearance in the movie, so that's cool. Uh, Macy Williams, obviously Wolfsbane. 
I mentioned that already. Uh, Alicia Braga. Alice, Al, oh, that's Alice Braga. Why am I saying Alicia? Alice Braga. Dr. Cecilia Reyes. So, Dr. Cecilia Reyes is not necessarily a villain in the in the comics or in the in the graphic novel. She's actually a member of the X-Men. Um, but in this, she appears to be more like a villain, which is really weird. And it's going to come, I think it's going to come full circle. Um, that she's really doing what she's doing for the right reason, but in the wrong way, which is cool. Uh, Charlie Heaton, uh, who's playing Cannonball, going to be a major part of the film. Uh, Blue Hunt uh, is playing Mirage. Um, if you've seen the trailer, she's the brunette that gets strapped down to the table. Uh, Henry Zaga, who's playing Sunspot. I knew Sunspot was going to make an appearance in it. And then the rest of what I'm seeing so far on the confirmed cast is nothing really important, nothing really big. Um, I'm uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and watch the trailer and do a reaction for you guys, just because I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Let's go and do full screen here. I want to see this full screen, because, you know, it's mutants. So there's... Dr. I'm going to ask you a series of questions. Respond truthfully. Asking I want you to respond me. truthfully. Asking if you ever hurt someone. Have yeah. you ever hurt someone? Yes. Have you ever experienced anything you'd consider? Well, yeah, she's a mutant. Abnormal. Is abnormal. You can hear in the background the, uh, the creepy version of another brick in the wall. Yes. Last question. Do you know what mutants are? Do you know baby rattlesnakes are more dangerous than adult ones? They haven't learned how to control how much venom they secrete. All of you are dangerous. That's why you're here. Come on, what can be more dangerous than a mutant? <laughs> See, this is like, yeah, little things coming out of the world. What is this place? Like cool. This is in the hospital. It's a haunted house! been through a lot. Get some rest. So far from what I've seen, uh, it is not going to be downright scary. Obviously, it's not going to be some sort of like Hills Have Eyes type scary. It's not going to be, uh, it's not going to be like Annabelle type scary. It's just going to be very weird, very creepy. Um, obviously, I think that's gonna. It's not gonna be R rated. It's gonna be PG thirteen when it really comes down to it. I've got really high hopes for April thirteenth, but I think that if it does not get overshadowed by all the other Marvel movies coming out, it's gonna be. It's gonna gain a cult following, which the comics do. A lot of people like the New Mutant comics, and a lot of people don't, which is fine. Now, as far as the horror elements go, there's obviously going to be a shit ton of jump scares, and that's perfectly normal for a beginner horror movie and this is kind of what it's getting into it's kind of getting that horror genre which is what marvel's been doing here lately they've been branching out and taking things from other genres and creating movies out of them like people have come to the realization now that with thor ragnarok it will with marvel phase marvel marvel's phase two has been all like 80s movies like all been like old, like really 80s influenced um, now, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, has really branched out and it's gone into what we call like the space opera type thing. So, a space opera, uh, like Star Wars or Star Trek, really focuses highly on sci-fi, really focuses heavy on the story. And now what we're going to have is we're going to have a horror movie, which is going to main, mainly... Which, which Marvel does good. Marvel does this really good. Is focusing on characters and focusing on how they are relevant to the universe. 
and I have a feeling that's what's going to happen here. It, this is a 21st century Fox movie, anyways. So this is going to belong in the same universe as Deadpool and like Deadpool 2 Cable type things. So now the New Mutants are obviously not going to be themselves the the villains. I think Dr. Celia Reyes is going to be playing a villain, even though she's not in the comics. Now, not every movie needs a villain. Not every horror movie needs a titular character. Like, we have Saul, uh, like Jigsaw, uh, Leatherface, in uh, the genre, and Annabelle, obviously. So, what's the what's the real villain here? It's the kid's powers. That's what I would say it is. They're, the powers are tricking them, and Dr. Celia Reyes, it's just they're trying to facilitate their safety, even though she's maybe doing it the wrong way. It's still scary to a group of teenagers to be locked away in, in a... Like, almost like an asylum. A mental facility, almost, if you will. So, do I think that it's going to be outright scary? No. I have a feeling it's going to be very much a mental-type movie. Which is my thing. I like the I like the psychological-type movies. Now, um, horror elements, obviously, it's going to be the mystery of the unknown. Um, it's going to be a, a lot of jump scares, obviously. So it's going to be a lot of physical horror. And there's going to be that, that, that invisible threat, you know? Um, we talk about like how sometimes there's horror in just really invisible things, which is what I think is coming. It's going to be an invisible horror, something that cannot be seen, something that cannot be controlled. So it's scary to the people that are in the movie. It may not outright be scary to us, but it will be to them, and that's why it's going to belong in the horror genre as a horror sci-fi adventure comic book movie. I don't know how many tags I could put on that, but it's going to be cool. It's going to be interesting. And I really, really want to see, I really want to see them do a good job with it. Specifically, with a cast as big as it is, between uh, Maisie Williams, just alone, Maisie Williams is a big name to have just because of Game of Thrones. And now, see, it's 2018 when the movie comes out. So, I mean, obviously, some of these actors and actresses are going to be in other things. Now, Anya Taylor Joy, she's been in a few things. And I think if, if it really comes down to it, she's going to have her work cut out for her really is um if you guys know who she is she played in the movie split which i've talked about split before i kind of think i think i went on a rant about it on facebook um but split was she played casey she was the main character female character in the movie and she's going to be playing in uh glass also which is going to be the uh which is going to be the sequel to split uh she's going to be playing magic and she's She's given a lot of screen time, really, and I think that's pretty interesting. Just in the trailer, she's given a lot of screen time. There wasn't a lot of equal screen uh, screen time divided up between a lot of the mutants, but really focused on Cannonball and Magic, so I think they're going to be two of the really more important characters in the film. Along, Obviously, they're going to have... Uh, Dr. Cecilia Reyes is going to be an important character in the film, and obviously, I don't think they're going to really side uh, sidebar Wolfsbane or Maisie Williams' character, just because that's not that's not a good thing to do, especially with a big star like that, or what I would consider a big star, I guess. Um, there's nobody in this movie that has specifically been in horror. Um, I guess Anya Taylor-Joy has been in horror before. Um, I don't know anything about Charlie Heaton. I don't know, think he's ever been in anything horror-related. Um, I mean, he was in Stranger Things, I guess. He played, he played uh, Jonathan Byers in Stranger Things, which I, I wouldn't even consider Stranger Things to be horror. I mean, it's got some scary parts in it. I mean, I'm going to get a lot of hate for that, obviously, but I'm not going to consider that horror. Never going to consider that horror, honestly. Let's see. Um, I guess he was in Shut In. Uh, I've never heard of Shut In, actually. I'm, obviously, I'm not big, that big of a horror fan, then, if I haven't seen a horror movie like that. But, um, I mean, people are going to say that about me, but I mean, they're going to be wrong. Um, I don't know. I, uh, I feel like Marvel is going to have a really big challenge, especially because the movie's in post-production now. If a movie's in post-production, most of the time it means it's already done, and they've got some things that they've got to like clean up and fix, which is fine. It really is. But I just feel if they fuck this movie up, they're going to have a lot of angry fans on their case, and that is not something they want at all. So... That's going to kind of wrap up my discussion on New Mutants, uh, the trailer reaction and everything. Um, I'm not going to be able to actually get the trailer put on this video, obviously. Um, not until I can figure out all the little kinks and all that between the uh, 
between copyright bullshit, you know. But um, yeah, guys, if you want to go ahead and go on our Facebook or on Twitter, um, you can like us there. Um, I know you guys are probably going to have seen this on Facebook or Twitter because it's going to be cross-posted between those areas. Um, if you can go ahead and uh, like and subscribe this video or any uh, or like and subscribe to the channel, what am I saying? Like this video, share the video, share any one of the podcast episodes. It helps us out a lot and gets us to where we need to be. Um, obviously, uh, you guys want to check us out on uh, Black Cat Podcast, uh, on the Black Cat Shadow website. Um, or if you guys want to go ahead and email me, you can email me at dakshadowbane at gmail.com. That is D-A-K shadow bane, B-A-N-E at gmail.com. All one word squished together. And you guys, if you want to contact the actual podcast, you guys can contact blackcatpodcast at gmail.com. Uh, you can email us about anything. Give us show ideas for podcasts or even for videos. Um, I think my next video is going to be a review. Um, it's going to be a review over... A B movie. I don't know what I want to do yet. Um, but just be looking forward to that. I'm gonna try to get these videos out once per week, and we're gonna try to do that with every episode type thing where we put out a podcast episode and then a video episode. Um, if there's anything you guys want to see and you guys think you want to talk about, just let us know. Um, if you guys want to actually uh, check out any of our uh, affiliated things, uh, you can go onto our website or on Facebook, obviously. Um, for Andy and Phantom Dark Dave, I am Dakota, and I will see you guys later.